Hi guys. So I'm going to go through each sign. Let's just get some energy for the day. It is a, a Mercury is in Leo. Let's start with Gemini. Okay. Mercury is in Leo right now. So, you know, our Mercury represents our communication, you know, <laughs> how we like to handle our business. And I just think that uh, when we're talking about fiery energy of Leo, then it's definitely giving off this um, feel to want to communicate your passions or want to communicate um, like you're feeling inspired to do something. Like I want to speak up. I want to uh, get this thing out of the no action phase. You know, I want to get out of the planning phase and all that. I want to actually move forward. So I'm just going to get a card for each sign and then we're just going to go from there and see what we're given. So, like I said, we're starting off with Gemini. This would be Gemini. All right, so your general energy. I love you, babe, but you're tripping. Love you, babe, but you're tripping. I don't know why I get more of a friend, like a friend type of energy. This isn't even, I know it's like babe and love in there, but I get more of a friend type of energy. It's like, I love you, sis. Like, I really love you. I really do love you, Jody. but you scare me sometimes. <laughs> you scare me too, Jody. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's like that type of energy. It's like, I really, I really, uh... I love you. You're my friend. You know that I, I only wish you well. You know I only want the best for you and all that good stuff. But you really tripping right now. So I, I initially feel the energy of like maybe your friend has come to you about maybe a relationship issue and they're trying to get you to side with them. And then, you know, you're getting this type of thing back. Like, no, like you're not taking my side. Like, you, you know, you only listen to his side. You don't listen to her side. Like, you're not taking my side. You're my friend or not. And it's like, I love you, friend, but you're dripping. Like, no, you're wrong on this one. So I feel like people may be coming to you or friends are coming to you or establishments somewhere are coming to you. Like, don't you see how they fucking up and you like calling them out, kind of pulling their card? Like, no, it's you this time. It's you this time. <laughs> and uh, motherfuckers not uh, feeling that, I don't think. <laughs> Let's see what's up. Gemini. So we have the Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah, so it's like they come in real quick with the communication, but it's panic. You know what I mean? They come in like super dramatic with their energy. It's like, you know, um, it's like, girl, let me tell you what the boss just did. Or let me tell you what this nigga just did to me. Let me tell you about this bitch. She was on some other shit. It doesn't matter how they bring this shit into you. You calling it bullshit. It's like, I'm pulling the card. I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I don't care uh, what our relationship is. I don't care what our bond is. You're not about to force me to side with you and see your point of view. And especially not be inspired by it and do something about it. Like, no, I'm not doing that shit. Especially when I know it's you. You tripping. You tripping. I don't care. I don't care. You tripping. So that's how you're feeling right now. It's like people keep trying to bring you some shit like just hear me out see my point of view you like nope no i love you so when you say that i love you it is still an energy for me that's like you know i've heard you i've considered your point of view it's not that i'm ignoring you or i have any type of bias towards this it's more of an energy like i i love you so i have put myself in your shoes i've considered everything that you're going through i've considered everything but i'm genuinely telling you as a friend lover whatever um co-worker no sis you wrong on this one no bro you are wrong on this one and i'm not budging you're not about to get me to change my mind period point blank i don't care what the story is anymore like i've considered all that shit now you want me to be inspired by things other than the facts and i'm not doing that no you wrong you wrong eat it up three of cups let's just it's like eat it up and let's move forward you know what i'm saying we can't get nowhere if you still stuck in this shit and panicking and being upset and being mad or wanting everybody to see your point of view it's like it's still a way it's still from our joy it's like you are the rain 
on the parade. Nobody wants this rain on our parade. Like, you bring that dark-ass cloud, and I don't want that shit around me. I don't want no parts of it, especially when you won't even take accountability for your part of it. It's not like you're bringing this shit like, damn, we had a fucked-up party. Like, we all was tripping. No, you come and bring this shit like you the only one that wasn't fucking up. And I'm supposed to jump on your boat like, yeah, now let's all join forces. And, you know, I, this is an alliance now. We're an alliance now. So, you know, because I'm your friend, I'm supposed to automatically agree with you or side with you. No. No. It's like, it's that, that we're not doing that. That's keeping us from our blessings. It's like, don't block your blessings by being an old, mad, bitter-ass bitch. Take accountability. It's okay. Motherfuckers probably embarrassed for how they did shit. Take accountability for your shit. And it's not that big of a deal. It's like we can move forward. We can celebrate and enjoy, you know, each other's company, time, all that shit. But not until you take accountability for your shit. I'm not about to just jump on your side just because. Like, that's stupid. So you have the four swords. It's like, uh-uh. I'm, you're not about to lure me into that shit. Like, I am not paying no mind to anything that I personally feel will bring me heartache in some way, shape, or form. We think of the four swords and the three swords sitting right above him. And you got the uh, one sword on his fucking lap and he's resting. It's almost like, you know, even when I'm not um, involved in some shit, it has absolutely nothing to do with me in any way, shape, or form. Y'all still got darts at me, like targeting me and like trying to lure me into some shit. And I know that that type of shit leads to heartbreak so no i got my sword right here my defense is up i'm ready because y'all not about to drag me into any motherfucking thing like i'm this situation is dead to me like this is it's dumb to me i'm ready to celebrate and move forward why do y'all want to sit in this energy of still being in conflict and not taking accountability like i'm not doing it and then you want to come across like or make me look like i'm mean and cruel this motherfucker ain't got no heart no soul they going through something. They don't know themselves. No, motherfucker. I know exactly who I am. I'm fully aware. That's the reason I don't want to get dragged into your bullshit. Because I can realize. I'm very clear on realizing. Because the four swords to me can also represent like seeing some shit with, uh, without necessarily seeing it. You know what I mean? It's like having to lean on your knowledge. You know, it's like putting everything else to rest, all logic to rest, but having to rely on your experience and rely on your knowledge. And so it's like with my experience in life, I can see without, you know, it being super obvious, I could see what the issue is. I could see that the person that's stirring up all this shit just got this personal issue. You know what I'm saying? So, because I can see that, they, they won't even take accountability. You guys aren't going to get anywhere. You guys keep saying you want to move forward, men fences, but you're not going to get anywhere until you address that issue. And y'all haven't even come to a space of wanting to address that issue, but then you want me to side with you and pull myself into your drama knowing that you haven't even gotten to a space of accountability? That's stupid. It's like you want me to, to join your team and you don't even um you don't even have like a strong defense. You don't even have you know, you you are clearly fucking up here. You are clearly the uh, the issue and I'm not gonna be the friend that bullshits with you or sugar coats some shit with you so you can continue on with this shit. I'm going to let you know. No, I'm not taking sides. I can give a fuck about a side. I see very clearly that there's either panic, drama, issues, or there's happy-go-lucky celebrations and stuff. I'm over here. You know, not to say that I'm delusional or I don't accept life like, you know, mistakes and obstacles. It's like, yeah, but I am not willingly going to choose that. That's stupid. If it comes, I deal with it. But I'm not going to insert myself into a drama or like, you know, into some type of shit that is like, you know, unhealthy and into any toxicity. I'm not willingly inserting myself in that. Are y'all stupid? <laughs> Gemini, y'all not having it. Eight of Cups, moving away. I'm walking away from it. I'm walking away from it. Like, you know, I feel that this is um, energy of being emotionally balanced. Again, it's like seeing beyond what is being presented to you. You're not taking shit at face value because you know that there are all other types of things that goes on with shit. You know, so it's like, no, I I feel it. I don't care what you're telling me. I feel it in me. That something is, it's not right. Something is missing. Something is not, like some screws are loose with this motherfucker here. 
everything that you're giving me is not sitting well. It's like, you want me to side with you, but you're not telling me everything. You're not telling me where you fucked up at. I cannot deal with that. I'm walking away from that. I even get a weird little energy of like, you know, um, like, um, uh, like public defender or anything like that. It's like, you know, how do you want me to defend you? And you won't even tell me everything that's going on. I know I feel within me that something is missing. Some pieces are missing. So you want me to jump in this without knowing all facts and still go hard for you. That's the dumbest shit ever. Do you trust me or don't you? So, you know, it's people are feeling like they will be judged by you if they tell you what they did. If they take accountability for what they did, like their part in the bullshit and the drama, then you're going to be more so focused on that than a solution. And you like, no, it's like, OK, the moment you take accountability for this shit, we all can be free from this sad ass misery cloud. But up until then, it's like we keep going around the obvious, which is you have a personal issue. And so every time we come together and try to have a good time, that personal issue comes out. And there's tension and there's weird vibes or whatever the case may be. And I'm like, no, you you don't get to walk away. You don't get to poke the bear and then run away. You don't get to play with people's emotions. Like every single time you try to be on some positive shit, you come in with your heavy ass emotions and then walk away. No, no, I'm, I'm like, that type shit, I'm done. I'm washing my hands with shit like that before, I will, you know, people like that moving forward. I, I cannot. I will not. So it's like, I love you, but you tripping. I love you, but you got to get your mind right. You have to get your mind right. Let's get one more for you, Gemini. Uh, 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 uh. Seven of Swords, reverse. No, this is not right. That's besties reverse. Seven of Swords. So it's definitely sneaky. It's again, it's like a person that feels like, you know, um, they could convince people, like they could get people on their side because of whatever the relationship or history is or something. It's just like not considering nobody else's feelings, nobody else's like journey, nothing. It's like, you know, all me spoiled and, and sneaky type of energy. And I just feel like this is the type of person that the reason they've been this way and the reason they didn't leveled up all the way to a seven child um, is because they have been allowed to do this. You know what I'm saying? It's like people usually give in to this or people usually be like, you know, you my friend and you know, you know what? You're right. You know, fuck them and uh, go on this whole thing with them, cutting motherfuckers off with them and then realizing like, damn, all these people you said suck. They're actually pretty cool. Like, why you lie, bitch? And it's like that motherfucker turned out to be real cool when I, you know, got to know them without your influence. Why you say it was fucked up? Because that bitch slept with my man back in 02. So they a whole, you know, it's like you're over that type of shit. It's like you're telling me about people and trying to get me inspired to uh, negatively uh, view people. You know what I'm saying? It's like you want me to have a negative perception of this person you're telling me about all because of an experience that you had with them and you felt betrayed. Because I'm your friend, all of a sudden I'm the fucking accessory now. Now I got to be a part of this shit. Now it's like I'm an accomplice. It's stupid. Like, no. Like, be fair. Are you considering my life and my situations and the things that I could potentially lose by inserting myself into your dumb ass shit? All because you don't want to take accountability. I'm supposed to risk my sanity. I'm supposed to risk my pretty because you want me to get out there and scrap. You want me to get out there, you know, check motherfuckers, do this, that, and yeah. You want me to do all this extra shit. All because you don't want to admit that you were wrong. Or you have some part into this, whatever this stupid shit is. No. How unfair. Are you really my friend? It's like, listen, I love you, but you tripping. Period, point blank. So you might have that type of shit coming towards you, Gemini. I'm all for you. I feel like, you know, motherfuckers are tripping, especially if they don't want to take accountability and just want to drag you into some, into some shit because you argue good, you fight good. So it's like, all I need is Gemini in my corner and boom, bitch, I already fucking won. That's why I don't give a fuck if I was wrong. I'm calling my, my Gemini cousin. I'm calling my Gemini sister. I'm calling my Gemini auntie, my mama. I'm calling somebody to come kick your ass because you pissed me off. Gemini come through like, I'm not 
getting in your shit. I got my own shit. Like, damn, you, I just left my kids at the house. I just left my man at the house. I just left my job to come take care of you or be there for you. And this is what it is? You want to put me into some bullshit, bitch? Bye, Lance. Like, comment, subscribe, and share.